All right, well, The Zulus of New York is Zeke Simdar's new novel to be published later this month. The story reconstructs the story of a group of Zulu men taken to Britain and America to perform human curiosities known as the Great Farini. Well, Imdar joins us this morning to talk about this novel. Zeke, good morning. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. And, you know, I, I was given this book, I'm going to be honest, yesterday yeah. by this team around mid-morning. So okay. I haven't had a chance to read the entire thing, but the few pages I managed uh -huh. to read are entertaining, Yes. So marvelously written, but you don't know at some points whether you want to laugh or yeah. whether you should be offended for the people in the book. So why, tell, why have you decided to tell the story of the, the Zulus of New York? Because uh, I felt that this is a good story to tell, mm. you know. Uh, when I f first came across it, I was just well, fascinated by the very notion of human curiosities and the very notion of you know taking Africans from Africa to exhibit them there mm -hmm. well of course I already knew of that practice yeah. you know because we all know for instance of Sarah Bartman yes. and, and all that who was 200 years before these Zulus so these Zulus were taken from South Africa after the Battle of Isandlwana mm -hmm. after they gained the fame of having defeated the British and then, of course, newspapers in England and in, in America wrote of these ferocious savages yeah. who then everybody wanted to see. And then, of course, enterprising impresarios, you know, got a few Africans from here to perform their ferocity and their savagery in England, in London, and then later on in New York. Mm. So the Zulus I'm writing about then are those performers, first in England and then in New York. Mm -hmm. I follow their story, actually this main character from Ondini, which is in Guazulu, right up to New York. And that's MP we're talking about. Yes. As, as they called him, MP. As they called him, in, yeah. In, in, yeah. In Britain and New York. Uh, I mean, for anybody who's thinking, oh dear, here we go, another historical novel, we're going to have to go through all what we know already, but there's a love story. You're telling the uh, story through yes. a love story as well. So tell us a bit about that. Well, of course, I mean, if it is my novel, it must have a love story. It must have a love story. Yes. Yeah, a pretty princess. Yeah, uh, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my character then, of course, whose journey I've been tracing throughout, and his, you know, the, the ups and downs of his life, the dehumanization he goes through, he meets another African from South Sudan, um, from the Dinka people, the mm -hmm. Jiang people, as they call themselves. Uh, who is also a so-called curiosity, you know, who, who's kept in a cage so that, you know, people go there to ogle mm. at her. Mm. And then, of course, from that cage, she manages to fall in love with my Zulu uh, 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 a character, he, uh, this, this, Dinka, this Dinka woman. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, who are these characters based on? How, how far back, what records did you use in your research to... Yes. I mean, this was way back, way before... Before, uh, before I was late born. Eight, before I was going to say that, but I don't <laughs> want to sound disrespectful. <laughs> I'm trying not to say that. Yes. Before you were born, before... Uh, may, you know, and how far back, because this is the late 1800s that we're talking thus, about. Thus, my story begins around 1870 or yeah. so. Then it goes through the Battle of Isandlwana, mm. Battle of Ulundi. And then, you know, up to 18, the 1890s, yeah. that, that's where we come to the end. Because this, of, you'd of, have to have of, of research from abroad, you'd have to have accounts from, from what yes. happened in, in, in London and New York. So I'd like to know, where, where did you look for these? Well, I mean, for London and New York, there are lots of records, mm. you know. Um, books have been written about the great Farini and his activities as an impresario. Even, you just... Go to Google and just put Farini, then you have a whole history of even pictures of all the things that he, he used to do. So that was not, that was the easiest part. Okay. W which means that, you know, besides, of course, books by historians, I went to the primary sources, newspapers of the time, letters that people wrote to one another, you know, all those things. But then for Ondini and the court of King Kajwayo, mm. I was fortunate in that uh, I discovered a book, actually it's a current book, mm -hmm. published by the University of Natal uh, Press, um, titled Saving Two Kings, by a, a woman called Paulina Lamini, mm -hmm. 
who in fact served in the court of King Gajwayo. And then later became a missionary, learned how to, uh, a missionary, mm -hmm. learned how to read and write and um, wrote her life story, which of course includes her life at the accounts. court of okay. King Gajwayo. So one gets to know exactly how people lived then, the things that they, they, they used to do, their concerns, and so on. Okay, well, so, so, you know, the, 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 and then of course the oral tradition, because that's the most important record. Yeah. Stories that have been passed from one generation to the next. Fantastic. I don't want to give too much away about the yeah. book, but I'm just going to say it's easy to read, which is very important. Yes. As so much as it's historical, it's easy. And I just happened to open to a page 125, mm. but I can't read what's here because it's got a lot of caressing and kissing and lips and things. I, I can't read it right now because the kids are on holiday, but I'm just oh, going to okay, tell you, it right. has juicy <laughs> bits also. So thank you, Zay I'm definitely going to continue reading uh, this one. I started a little bit in the afternoon yesterday. Uh, and go and get it. It's The Zulus of New York. It's released when? It's, it's already, it's out, it's already, it's already okay, in the bookstores. It's already in the bookstores. Yeah. It's out and it's, it's a wonderful read. Thank yeah. you very much. And well done on this one, Zay My great pleasure. Talking to us about The Zulus of New York. A quick check.